You may have heard the phrase before, Holy Toledo. Well, that phrase, with a twist, has now become our mission, Holy Diocese of Toledo. We live in a culture that is broken and hurting, particularly when it comes to matters concerning the human person and human sexuality. That's why I've invited the Culture Project to come to the Diocese of Toledo. The Culture Project is an initiative of young people set out to restore culture through virtue. They proclaim the dignity of the human person and also invite our young people to live with sexual integrity. The Culture Project missionaries basically go into our schools or parishes to give two separate presentations. One presentation on human dignity and the second presentation on sexual integrity where they actually separate the boys and the girls to speak to them from the heart to share the message of what it means to live the virtue of chastity. But then they also follow up with the schools and parishes on a monthly or weekly basis as much as the schools and parishes desire to just meet and sit with the students and really be disciple makers if you will. This is the third year that the Culture Project missionaries have been in our diocese and the parishes and schools that have had them at their gatherings continue to invite them back. I love when the Culture Project tells me every year that they're coming back. I always look where can we fit them in because it's so important. This message has to reach our kids. I'm personally very excited that we have young, attractive people that are going to be great examples for our students that are so well formed on these issues. These are just beautiful, high energy young people that have a passion about what they're doing and they are able to connect. As missionaries, our job is not to just give students a list of no's or a list of rules or restrictions. Our job is to go into the classrooms and explain a lifestyle that is worth living, that we've experienced joy through, and to help them to become fully alive. It's not so much about just talking about refraining from sexual activity, but why would someone make that decision and everything being motivated by love? They share their personal stories. They can really meet these young people where they are. The missionaries, each and every one of them, are in some way making a connection one-on-one -on -one with a student. The young people in Toledo have really surprised us with their openness to the message. In the classroom, we get a lot of engagement from students, a lot of awesome questions in our question and answer sessions, and we can really tell that they're hungering and they're searching. One girl in the middle of the presentation, she hits her friend and she turns her to her friend and she says, I'm going to change the way I'm doing my relationships. The Culture Project being in our diocese to me is the beginning of something beautiful. It's the beginning of a new wave in our church where young people are hearing messages that they have not heard before. I would absolutely recommend every school in our diocese as a priest and pastor of souls, you need to have these missionaries speaking to our young people. No one is doing what the Culture Project is doing. These are young people going to speak before other young people and they're doing it in a joyful manner. So there's no other groups in the church that are focusing in on this particular subject in such a unique and such a creative and also such an intelligent way. And nothing is more attractive than another human person being fully on fire for God. And each one of the missionaries, that's exactly who they are. Please join me in welcoming the Culture Project missionaries to the Diocese of Toledo. I invite you to invite them to your parishes, your schools, your homeschooling groups. With the Culture Project missionaries, we can build a culture of life which respects and honors the dignity and sanctity of every human person. In this way, we will truly become a holy diocese of Toledo.